Hello, welcome to my channel and to the hashtag Makers Creative Collab video hop hosted by PM Artist Studios Facebook group called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. And uh, the last couple months we've had uh, Texture Junkies organizing the hop. So thank you, Sharon. And at the end of the video, you'll see a link to the next person in the hop. Please uh, click on that. There's also a link to all the videos in the description. Now the theme for this month, uh, for March, is Dreamweaver. And this is my project. Now before I explain my project, I'd like you just to close your eyes for a moment and picture a whale, a blue, big blue whale, and um, just picture it in your mind. And do you have it? You have it? Okay, now open your eyes. Now, what did you see? Did you see a whale like this? If you did, that's awesome. If you're like me, however, you saw nothing. So I have something that's called aphantasia. It's not super common. I think it's around 3% of the population have this where your mind's eye, you can't visualize things. So that's what I uh, decided to focus on. That's what I was inspired to represent in my collage for Dreamweavers because some people with aphantasia or aphantasia can actually have vivid dreams and see imagery in their dreams, which is what I feel I can. I can't prove it because once I wake up, I can't recreate it. It's just uh, um, more like a description, a memory, but not a visual memory. I can't actually see it. So. I learned about this a couple years ago. Uh, my husband actually said, you know, picture an apple and I couldn't. And he was surprised because he couldn't either. And we both assumed that everybody was like us. So, you know, when you go to meditation and they say, oh, you're sitting by a stream and there's mountains. And I, I just thought it was sort of theoretical, like you, you know, thinking about being there, but you don't actually see it. Um, and I remember watching Sesame Street and they're counting sheep. I think Ernie was counting sheep going over and I couldn't see the sheep. I would count in my head because I could count. I can remember, I can remember what an apple looks like. I, I know what a whale looks like, but I can't visually see those things. So when I first found this out um, a couple years ago, I was quite upset. <laughs> I was sort of, I was kind of pissed off. Uh, it didn't seem fair. But, um, and for those of you who've just discovered it for the first time too, I uh, just now I feel for you. I'm sorry to be the uh, bringer of bad news, but some people actually do see images with their eyes closed. I've gotten over it. It's really not that big a deal. You know, I can remember things. I can, I don't see an image or a scene, but I can recreate it maybe with words, it's hard to explain. Some of you might be wondering, how can she create scenes if she can't see in her head first? Well, I can plan using thought and space, but I can't see it there. So putting it on paper, making my creations come to life is almost a sort of art therapy for me since I can't visualize with my eyes closed. But it's fun for me to make a painting or make a collage and make something that I can see um, for myself. Anyhow, so I'm calling this piece Aphantasia Dreamweaver. So in my dreams, I can see imagery. So that's what this door represents. This is the Dreamweaver is when I'm asleep. So this side is me awake with my eyes closed, trying to picture things. And I don't I might see like blobs in the dark, but not that resemble anything that I'm trying to picture. So what I've uh, got in the background is a jelly print I created. And while I continue to talk about uh, this um, piece, I might put a little excerpt up here of how I created that uh, jelly print. These were the stencils I used to create those um, Jelly prints. This is uh, Pim Artist Studios fingerprint. I think this is graffiti, and I believe this is quilted crop circle. And the alcohol inks I used were this alcohol pearl celestial, and that's what gave it that blue shininess. You have to shake these before you use them. There's a little ball in there, and there's some. I think it's mica powder or something suspended. 
And then I also used uh, just this boysenberry purple. That's how I achieved that kind of sparkly bit. And I didn't put any star splatter because I felt the jelly print had enough sort of white showing through. And to pull the print, I used these colors, Brilliant Blue by Artist's Loft and Mars Black by Liquitex Basics. So we have this door, it's from Katherine Anderson. And these little turtles I created in Procreate um, and I printed them out. They started out uh, like this, just blue and white. I used a neon brush to create them. Um, and then what I did is I put, um, after I glued them down, I put some diamond, no, stardust stickles. To me, I wanted them to look like constellations in the sky. Um, this style of collage is inspired by um, Dee Dee Willingham. I'll put a link to her channel. Uh, the whale here with the cityscape on his back and the waterfall coming down, um, that was actually inspired by a bottle of wine that we have in our kitchen. And I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, for the whale and the turtle, I got those um, from this sticker book. The Atlanta sticker book and it's got cool images in there uh, and they're not matte stickers they're a little bit glossy and then I just created um, you know the city and the water uh, just using uh, paints so I'll just bring that in so you can see that a little closer and you might be wondering, um, who is this a picture from a magazine? Is that a famous model? No, it's me. So I just took my own picture with my eyes closed and I uploaded it to Procreate. I made it black and white. And then I lightly airbrushed, um, colorized it. And then I took the picture out and I printed just my little face on um, just some photo paper. And I cut it out and I pasted it on here I gave myself some nice groomed eyebrows though. I don't really, my eyebrows don't look that nice in life. So that is me trying to visualize but not able to until I dream and then the imagery comes to life. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of my aphantasic world. I don't know, am I an aphantastic person? Who knows, maybe I'm making up a word. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please click on the link to see everybody else's uh, videos. And um, that's it for me. Bye.